Hello everyone. Welcome to my floss tube and it's number 15 today. Um, it's uh, Saturday the 11th of July I think it is and um, today we went early to the railway station with my daughter's best friend and she's been here for two weeks now and these two girls has has been have been enjoying themselves a lot and you know uh, I've heard I've, I've hardly seen them because you know they've just locked themselves up in uh, Mina's room and Mina is my daughter and uh, yeah they've just been hanging out and sometimes you know you hear these crazy laughters and everything and uh, the last few days the weather has been better so we've taken them to the beach uh, so they could take take a swim take a dip in the cold water um, and we've gone there in the evenings so it was a little bit sad to uh, put her friend on the train um, uh, yeah, uh, to make <coughs> a short story longer. <laughs> her best friend, they went uh, to the same school last year. Uh, but um, my daughter's best friend moved to another city like four, four to five hours with train away from us. Uh, and when she did that, uh, Mina wanted to change school, so she started a new school uh, last year. Uh, but they've kept contact through the whole year, and you know when they they met 14 days ago, it was like they have never been apart. So it's been really great. Uh, it's just too bad, yeah. Like I said, she had to go, and that she doesn't live close by anymore. However. I went for a very long walk with my husband after that. We were walking for like one and a half hour or something. Uh, it, was still, it was still early in the morning when we left, so it was very nice. It was hardly anyone out. Um, the sun was peeking out and uh, we have this big uh, river going through the town. So we kind of walked uh, along the, the river. It was very nice. And yeah, and I spent some time with my daughter uh, during the rest of the day, mostly, since I haven't <laughs> hardly seen her for 14 days. But this is floss tube. This is not a stitch and shed, so I should just uh, continue with the business. So, I have no finishes, of course. Uh, I hardly remember what I showed you oh, the last floss tube. Um, oh yeah, and before I start showing the progress, uh, the whips, I want to remind all of you uh, to go back to floss tube number 14. Um, to subscribe, if you haven't already done that, of course, fill out that Google form. Uh, to be able to enter in my first, very, very first um, giveaway for the celebration and showing my gratitude to all of you guys um, for the giveaway for 500 subscribers. Uh, and I will announce um, the winner uh, who will win a heaven and earth design pattern. Oh my god! Um, uh, next weekend, the weekend before I, I go back to work, uh, I'll record uh, floss tube number 16. So that's when I'm gonna uh, announce the winner. So I just wanted to give it a little bit of time. As I said, I'm, I'm a small channel and uh, yeah, I, I don't 
you know, I don't get tons of comments for so I just wanted to give the people a chance, you know, to, to join. So I hope that's okay. Um, whoever will win will be a happy winner. And oh yeah, and you need to comment with uh, the word H A E D. Um, but all the instructions are in floss tube number 14. So go back, watch that. Now to the whips. I've been working on four projects and I'm thinking, um, I've been mixing it up quite a lot this week. Uh, since I finished my uh, Mirabilia last week, I thought that, well, I have no hurry with anything this uh, last two weeks before I go back to work. Um, so I've just, the first day after the floss tube, I think. Oh, anyway, I, I spent the whole day organizing some uh, of the threads I'm gonna use for the projects I'm doing right now and gritting stuff. And I will, I will, I will show you all that. But on Monday, I went to my mom's place, like I've done the other, Mondays during my vacation and I continued stitching on my Enchanted Forest by the Owl Forest Embroidery and I think I wasn't there the whole day uh, so I actually made quite a nice progress I think so yeah I'm going there on Monday again uh, so I'm looking forward to go back. This is the progress I have so far. So uh, the last time I had only done this part of the tree and I think a little bit of the stem. And all, of course all, all of this I had done. So I continued working on the, the stem and the, the limbs of the tree. And then I made all the apples. Uh, and it's all made in the variegated thread which uh, the Owl Embroidery Company uh, provides with the kit. And I think it turned out pretty nice. I think uh, the variation, variegation shows better off camera, but I was very pleased with it. Um, so on Monday, I'm gonna uh, continue doing the leaves on the tree. So I hope to finish that and then we'll see then underneath here, there's like a beaver and some piece of wood. It's been, you know, shooing on. So I'm looking forward to go to get to that. So the whole piece of fabric <coughs> looks like this. So it's not a huge project, but it's very nice. I love the colors and it's a little bit like cartoonish, I think. And it's stitched on a 32 count uh, Belfast linen swaggered, I think it is. And it's the hand dyed flosses from the Owl Embroidery, Owl Forest Embroidery Company. So it's very nice, very nice. I'm very pleased with it. And I have absolutely, absolutely no problems stitching on this. And I'm very used to stitching on even weave. So this was like the first linen piece ever. And it was very fine. I love the fabric. And um, the kit comes in like a box like this and you get everything you need to get stitching. I think, yeah, you can stitch in hand, that's no problem. I think you, you need a pair of scissors, I guess, and then you're good to go. So this is um, how the picture is going to look. Maybe if I hide this. It's pretty nice. <clears throat> so 
so but there is for sure difference a difference between linen and linen um, the other piece I worked a little bit on which is also worked on linen a 32 count but I don't know which kind of linen it is I don't think it's Belfast because it doesn't feel it doesn't feel the same the material of the fabric it doesn't feel the same as the one on, on the uh, the enchanted forest so I started which way it goes this way I started uh, a new Mirabilia um, and I chose to start portrait 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 of Veronica and I haven't done much I just wanted to start and get a feeling feel for it oh that looks really I think it's quite dark actually so it's the start of her dress and um, I mean the linen is fine it's really fine but um, it, as I said it's different and I had had to search the edges myself and I needed to do that thing I have such a hard time explaining because I don't know the name in English um, you know to these things here which goes in the in the rod uh, it's the one that you know squeezes the fabric in the thing here that runs through the rod uh, but as you can see you can move it in and out pretty easy and that's a little bit of a problem because um, it doesn't hold the fabric in place so when you start tensioning uh, the sidebars you know the fabric just loose loosens up all right so what you need to do and this is the omnic frames omnic the omnic quantum frames from Estonia Lithuania maybe one of those uh, countries uh, so you need to like so I call it a canal I'm sure there is another name for it a canal so this th little rod fits in the fabric and then you need to you know lay the fabric in the um, this thing here words I'm sorry I'm not English speaking as you figure it out um, but you put the fabric there and then you run the small rod in this hole through the canal you sewn and then you know the fabric at least stays in the rod like this you know so then you can tension it without it you know loosening up but it's not the best way it works fine but yeah I wish we had uh, more um, more choices when it comes to scroll frames in Europe uh, and we have the beautiful Millennium frames of course but I've heard that there is a huge uh, waiting time for that but back to Veronica I was so surprised by how much black there is in her dress oh my god I mean I thought it was like greenish aqua petrol bluish turquoise you know but there were a lot of black I think I have 
Yeah, I can show you that now when I'm sh I showed you my whip. I got four skeins of black. So first, when I opened the package and started, you know, kidding up, I was like, <laughs> that's a lot of black. But then I thought, well, there is a lot of backstitching in her dress. There's a lot of um, detail. But then I saw when I looked at the pattern, I was going to start to to stitch, you know, to, yeah. Just uh, an evening with a few hours. And it was like black, 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 black everywhere. Wow. So. I don't mind stitching with black. Not at all. I think th all that black is going to give the dress a lot of depth. Depth. You know. Uh, so it's going to be fun to see how it looks like when I've stitched a bit more on it. So I tried the black and then I tried this beautiful color. It's a uh, 3808 in DMC. Uh, and I like that very much. There's a lot of that in her dress as well. Um, so I did that. And the next color I wanted to try is a mix, it's a blend with black and the 3808. And I can't remember that I have ever stitched like with blending with two different colors. So mm, it's going to be a little bit new to me. So I'm thinking I'm going to take a strand of black and a strand of the 3808 and just stitch two over two like that and hopefully that will give a nice effect. Um, so I don't know if you should like do do like do it like that or if you first you stitch like ten stitching half crosses with a black and then you go over with a 308. I don't know. But I'm thinking that you take both strands right away. And in my kit from Hawkins Hobbies, I highly recommend them if you live in Europe at least. Um, it said here uh, that the DMC color 2, no, yeah, 282 said. I guess it's like a metallic thread or something, uh, was discontinued. So, uh, They've replaced it with another Krennic. So that's fine. So this is the Krennic I got instead of the DMC. I, I know this is pain to stitch with. But I'm really, really looking forward to stitch the Mirabilias with the Krennics. Because I think it's going to be very, very nice. So, <clears throat> I made a little stitch kit for my uh, portrait of Veronica, my new Mirabilia, which I guess will take a year to finish or something, maybe half a year. I wouldn't have finished uh, Miss Christmas Eve as fast as I did if I wasn't off work. So, so this is it, a small plastic uh, box, I guess. And uh, I think that turned out pretty nice. So, <clears throat> what's next? I said that I uh, gridded, pre-gridded some stuff. Uh, I told you that I tried stitching a little bit on my softest steel. Um, I don't know why I'm holding it like that. That's just ridiculous. However, I, I hadn't gridded the fabric. I had removed the, the fish line I use for gridding. And uh, I felt like I was out on thin ice, so I stopped. So I gridded out a piece of it and continued the diagonal stitching. And I think I made like half a page this week. 
um, and it's like the large, large pattern. So it's not the normal size um, page. Um, so yeah, I think that looks very nice. Maybe here you can see how I've pre-graded the stuff. And the frame I'm using here is the Millennium frame. So it's, it's very different from the, the quantum frames. I want to show you the whole progress of um, Softest Steel. I finished 25% of her, so that's like a fourth part. So it's a little bit of nakedness. So if you don't like that, just skip ahead a minute or so. So here she is. And I've stitched her like on scroll frames, on Q snaps and everything. So the tensioning I'm sure is like way off. I started in the middle and then I dropped my scissors and created a nice hole in the weave. So I had to repair it and stitch over it right away. And now you can see it, but man, oh man. It's such a nice, lovely piece to stitch. And the thing is that I really uh, like, I've come to realize to like stitch the skin. Same thing with coloring. I don't know, did I mention that the last time? Maybe, well, I like to color skin as well. And did I just be all over the microphone? I'm sorry. Oh, hey. So that's that. And uh, for the threads um, on uh, for uh, softer steel, I have one of these boxes, but a large one. So all 90 colors fit in there. So that's pretty nice. Let's not forget the coffee. Mm. And um, <clears throat> talking a little bit about uh, heaven and earth. No, let's not talk about that now. Let me f show you the other uh, project. I started Mini Dragon in the Morning by Heaven and Earth. Oh yeah, I forgot. Softest Steel is also a Heaven and Earth design, of course, but I guess you already knew that. And this is the mini uh, dragon in the morning. I started it last week and I've been working on it for a few days. Two days maybe. And I'm 10 stitching it with two threads over two on 25 count. And this is the progress and I have lots of threads. Somebody said in their, di their diagonal stitching tutorial video that you just stitch like uh, the 10 uh, stitches in each row you stitch them and you park you stitch and park you stitch apart and she said and in, in that way you only have the 10 threads maximum hanging <laughs> I don't have 10 threads <laughs> so I don't know uh, and I'm like kind of cross-country stitching within that diagonal and I've started like if there's one color in the bottom of the diagonal and it continues continue down to down to the next diagonally diagonal i just jump down and park it there and start a new thread in the same color when it's you know repeating itself further up um, and i do that to not jump around like that and to i hate to start threads when I stitch with two threads and I can't start with the loop method. So that's why I do like that. Uh, but I'm saying one thing that it's looking pretty damn nice. And you cannot tell that this is 10 stitching. It's called the easy guide. 
I mean, it's a, I said it before, it's a lifesaver when you stitch heaven and earth. And I mean, you can pre-grid as I did on soft as steel. And soft as steel, as steel is stitched on 27 count Linda, by the way. And um, yeah, I mean, you can pre-grid. That's no problem at, at all. But, you know, you save a lot of time here. Uh, I do find this a little bit rough, the easy guide. Uh, it's, uh, it's a rough weave. I, I don't like it too much, but it makes my life so much easier when stitching heaven and earth. So I'm going to continue with this today and tomorrow, I think. And then on Monday, I'm back with the Enchanted Forest. And then I really want to start my fantastic voyage it's a super size but it's the regular colors and i pre-gridded that let me show you so i bought that gray weave i decided to step away from the easy guide because i wanted a little bit softer and i saw someone stitching the fantastic voyage on green fabric and it looked really nice and i think that if you do get some see see through i think a colored fabric will cover that up better and so i spent some time on pre-gridding this um so it does take some time and it's really annoying if you miss it by one thread you know and you're like did I count to 11 there or 10 or uh? And then you have to pull the thread up, you know, the fish line and regrid. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And that's why we choose the easy guide or the magic guide, because then we don't need to bother. It's already done. So this fabric is just huge. And I bought this with a voucher or gift card. I received from Rachel Ray for being the patron of the month of May. And um, yeah, for my mini, which is the way this dragon in the morning, I had bought the material pack from Heaven and Earth and I started pulling strands from there. I mean, I have it's six, seven cards and I was like, oh, no, this is like time consuming. It's annoying. So I decided to pick up my Paco organizers and I just, whoops. Yeah, I drew, I wrote all the numbers of, you can see that maybe the numbers of the, the DMC. And then I um, just put a strand of th thread on each color. So I have these with me when I stitch the mini and that goes a lot more, f more faster. So that was, that's nice. So that's some different organiza organi organizations of threads. Uh, I, I'm doing, I'm trying different things to find out what works and I have actually ordered a floss body, floss, floss body for my Fantastic Voyage where I can pull out all 90 colors from my DMC collection, the full collection, and just put the bobbins in that floss body. I mean, hello, <laughs> awesomeness. And the one who, who, who has made that, I bought it from Etsy. She's sending from England, the UK. Awesome, awesome. So that's really cool. So yeah, that's kind of like uh, the progress I have done. Oh, and on my Mira Bilia, uh, I use a tacky bob. And I've put it in this uh, Tupperware 
mm, lunch box, I guess you call it, which my mom gave to me for having lunch in. But then I was like, well, my tacky thingy fits perfect in there. So I just pour out the beads I need. And when I don't use them, I just close it up. So that's that was kind of nice. Yes. So let's put that away. Um, my orders has started to come in. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Um, I went to Ikea after I saw a picture of a Q-snap in a Lowry stand. And I know that there is a like corner clamp for the Q-snaps, but they cost like 65 pounds plus shipping, I guess. And that's quite a lot of money. You can like almost get a new Lowry stand for the same cost. But I saw this picture and I was like, how did you get that Q-snap to stay in that Lowry stand? Because when I put my Q-snap in, unless it's my eight by eight inch, that's the maximum size my Lowry stand allows. If I put my 11 by 17 inch uh, Q-snaps, like the one I use for my super size uh, Heaven and Earth, they just, you know, slice down. And she had one of the big ones, I think. And she was like, well, took a picture and she used these anti-glide materials, which you have underneath your carpets. I'm like, I need to go to Ikea, Ikea now. So I bought a roll of this and it's like 10 bucks. I don't know. It's not a lot, you know, you know, all that store is cheap and we have them everywhere in Sweden and it's quite thin so this is going to work perfect yeah let me tell you I put it on and it it kept my Q-snap just where I wanted amazing thank you very much thank you thank you thank you and you know I have plenty of this and I'm thinking, since it's so thin, this should work quite good on putting it between fabric and the Q-snap clamp. Especially those clamps that starts to give, you know? Oh yes. So I bought that. So that I think that was a good investment. And I bought a Mirabilia pattern uh, some time ago. I ordered all the queens, summer queen, spring queen, autumn queen. Autumn and spring are out of print. And then I got the summer queen and I asked Hawkins Hobbies if they could help me with kitting them up. And they were like, yep, yeah, sure, no problem. And I was like, but do you still have Snow Queen? And they're like, yeah, we just got a new kit and we can send that with you. And I was like, God, that was an expensive kit. It doesn't look like being such an expensive kit. And then when I get the kits, you know, I thought I ordered Winter Queen, but I ordered the Snow Queen. So I was like, my life is not complete if I don't have all the queens. So I finally found a place in Europe who has this beautiful winter queen Mirabilia. So I'm going to have to kit her up, but I'm not in such panic now because, you know, I have her at least. Uh, first, I put the order on Etsy. But because of the situation in the world, South Korea is not allowed to ship to Sweden unless, you know, I made a big order and I was like, I can't order 10 Mirabilias. 
So I had to cancel the order. I waited like three months and I'm like, no, never mind. And then I found the, the pattern on, on Arts Designs after watching Heike Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. And, you know, watching her uh, floss tube and Rachel Ray's floss tubes, you know, you get a lot of hints where you can uh, get materials and patterns within Europe. So we won't cost us so much. Uh, so that's really great. Um, so I'm trying to also pass on to you guys when I find a place in Europe which has the stuff we want. Um, the only thing which I find a bit troublesome is the DMC because you can get it very cheaply, very cheaply, very cheap in America and one, two, three stitches where I, I always ordered my DMC from before is not allowed to send it to Europe. And in Europe, it's a lot more expensive. Hell yes. So if you guys find a place who sells DMC threads for not more than a dollar, please let me know. I mean, in Europe, of course. All right. Um, I forgot to download the new part of the Stitch Along uh, Mythical Creatures from Pain Free Crafts. It's N for Nessie anyway. Uh, I will try to remember it on my next floss tube and show you guys how it looks. Uh, <clears throat> so what did I get? Yes, I got... Oh my God. This is just, this, this is so, this, this is fun, you know. I like the ladies, I mean, in cross stitching. I love their dresses. I love their hair and everything. Uh, something which I've noticed that people, you know, uh, really like, like, especially women with, within the crafting are mermaids. They find them, I guess, very, very beautiful and mystical, I don't know. Uh, same thing like in drawing and coloring and everything they're like oh it's mermaids it's mermaids you know I gotta have that I gotta have that and I'm like what's the deal with mermaids I mean it's it's a half naked woman with a tail and long hair what's you know so I've always been like no I'm not gonna color them I'm not gonna stitch them I'm not gonna diamond paint them I don't see why they're so beautiful. I'm never going to stitch a mermaid. And when Lilith came out, Lilith of Labrador, I was like, why is everyone like screaming over her? I know that's maybe a I'm exaggerating a little bit, you know. I mean, she's so ugly, really, seriously. I, I saw, you know, Stitchery Easter, she was like, I gotta stitch her, I gotta stitch her. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, focus. Uh, yes. I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but when I saw, not Lilith, I seriously thought she was ugly, but when I saw these two, it's the first time I'm like, wow, look at those mermaids, they are so beautiful I was I was like okay I'm I'm kind of like trying to look at myself from out of myself and just 
okay, this is just patterns. It's just cross stitching. Hello, but they are so beautiful. And the thing is, when I was a kid, my grandmother, she took care of us quite a lot. She had these old fairy tale books by uh, Hans Christian Andersen. And he wrote the story about the mermaid. We all know the story about the mermaid. And the drawings in that, it was like my favorite, one of my favorite. No, in, in those books that she had, that was absolutely my absolute favorite story because the mermaid was so beautiful. She was so, so beautiful. And it was such a sad story. And these two mermaids so much reminds me of that artwork in those books. So I'm like, I got to have them. And I asked Hawkins Hobbies if they could please. No, I didn't ask them because they already had them as kids. So we're going to take a look at that. But, you know, um, Lilith who I thought was extremely ugly and I couldn't understand why people wanted to stitch her. I still, you know, have been, um, you know, looking at her and everyone, every, you know, every time someone has uh, put a picture out on Instagram or something, I've always, you know, you know, looked at her and I've, when I've gone to um, the Mirabilia uh, website, I've always, you know, clicked in on her and looked at her and all of a sudden I was like, oh my God, she is like a really piece of art and so beautiful. And the story um, they write is also very nice. And now it's not here and I can't remember it. So, but I don't know if you guys want to take a look what's in the kit. I know I do because I haven't looked at it yet. But we'll just go do a fast um, unboxing. So this uh, are the specialty threads. And it seems that there is a Krennic, just one. Nice, um, yeah, it's not gonna focus. Yeah, it's like, uh, never mind. And we have the water l water li lilies. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder. I know. I just watched um, Heike's uh, floss tube, <laughs> and she was struggling with the words. And I was like, I feel you. I I really feel you. And the same thing with the heat. I'm sorry. So I think we have two of the same. Yeah. This is the monsoon. Oh my god. And they're so soft beautiful variegated thread here and then we have the fresh pink yes i wonder would that be in her skin maybe looks kind of nice yeah so that's nice and we have all the DMCs. Those are very nice colors. And I can see that there is, there is no skin in here. So then I would guess that the, uh, the light uh, water lily uh, thread uh, is her skin. Very interesting. And here's the em embellishment package with all the nice beads, all the bling bling. And there's uh, two different treasures. Oh, it's all about the beads. It's all about the beads. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to these mermaids. Oh my God. Um, 
so let's see. Then we have a material pack for um, Aphrodite Mermaid. And that's the, this one. That's this one. So I'm going to show you the package for this one. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. So this is the DMC. And I see all the skin colors there. I've actually ordered some uh, Splendor threads, silk threads. I'm going to replace them uh, on... I think I'm going to do it on Veronica to see how it turns out. And then we have not one, not two, but five different Krennics on her. Wow. Or maybe the blue is the same. No, it's too different. Oh my God. She's gonna be so beautiful. Oh my God. And then we have plenty of beads. Uh, no treasures, but man. Wow, 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 wow. And what I think is kind of what I'm looking forward to a little bit is that it seems uh, that there's not so much stitching on the mermaids, but there is a lot of beading and there's a lot of Krennix in them. So uh comparing the mirabilias with the mir the mirrors with each other is you know it's either a big dress with pearls in or it's like a beautiful little mermaid with a lot of whew, things going on i don't know i'm just thinking out loud i'm just thinking out loud isn't that a song by uh, ed sharon thinking out loud oh. And then we have the Renaissance Mermaid. Yes. She's just so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, she's so beautiful. Let's start with the beads. Wow. There are two different treasures and a lot of different beads my favorite colors mm -mm -mm. and we have some DMC not too much and specialty threads on her as well nice We have three different Krennics on her. You can see this one as and two different water ca carry ons. <laughs> Let's make it easy. It's the sea glass which is this one. And we have the blueberry. This turned out very blue on the camera. It's not that blue. Maybe it's more like this. Oh, I'm like, I got to I got to stitch Mirabilia when I open. It. <laughs> and then I go, you know, go through my whips with heaven and earth. So I'm like, I'm going to do a heaven and earth. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm getting to the next package with some new patterns I have never, ever tried before. And then I'm like, oh my God, I need to stitch that. We're all crazy. Isn't there like, um, isn't there a floss tube called want to stitch all the things or something? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I need to, I know it's crinkling a lot, but I just need to 
put everything in the bags, otherwise I don't know which belongs to what. So that was three kits from Hawkins. I have two more coming sometime in the future. And then I found a new place. Oh, let's not show uh, them um, the address. It's an Italian store called Casa Casa Senina, Casa Canina, Casa Senina. I don't know. Uh, and they had quite a lot of nice stuff, I may say. And it makes me very, very happy that there are European stores who are actually selling threads and patterns and stuff which we want to get from the states i've said it so many times before but i mean it, it's really 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 nice and they're not just out of stock so now we just need a little bit, bit more uh, of those places who have uh, fabrics that would be nice so as i said i ordered a silk floss splendor uh, from um uh, it's the rainbow gallery um to replace the dmc threads on the mirabilias and i'm like i watched uh cross stitching with luda she has made some nice videos about this and when she, when i watched those videos i was like oh you mean silk floss all right and the silk floss I just love to stitch with silk um, and I'm like, hmm, that sounds very interesting. And she said, you know, just get the two um, collections. Uh, it's called the bronze porcelain. And, oh, I think they have, oh, it's called S, it says it on here. It says SC1 and there's the SC2. She said, get those two, they have the colors you need. And then if you like it, or if you stitch a lot of mirabilias, you know, you can get these uh, colors on separate, separate skeins or cards. But you know me, I have to get them because I've already made up my mind that I'm gonna like this a lot more than DMC. So I got all the, I know I'm so silly, but I mean, hey, we'll live only once. I got all the shades that Luda recommended or, you know, these are like, colors I use a lot for my mirabilias and then I thought well I have a lot of mirabilias I'm gonna stitch hopefully all of them I hope um, if I don't stop buying them then I'm not gonna be able to finish all of them uh, so I was like I'm, I'm gonna get them because I know I'm gonna love it so I did that and then uh, the Italian store didn't have all of them so i found another place unfortunately it was russia so that means duty and everything you know not duty it's called duty customs taxes yeah and it's going to get stuck in the customs because sweden cannot receive mail from russia without you know going through it all so yep and then i also got the the whisper thread black for my Gypsy Queen Mirabilia, who I really want to start as well, but I haven't even received the, the fabric yet from Crafty Kitten. She's, uh, she's a little bit behind because of all the situation and she hasn't gotten the fabric she needs to dye. So, but it will come. Oh my God, I'm just rambling and rambling. So you have some floss tubes where you don't have any haul at all. And then all of a sudden, you know, all the orders just come and you have so much, so you're kind of rushing it. And I, I'm sorry, I, I really don't want to rush it because I just love it. I love to watch haul on floss tubes. So 
I want to show my haul. But I found some patterns which are Halloween related. I don't think I owe any Halloween related patterns whatsoever. Um, I think I have like a story keep uh, with the Halloween house from S Randall Spangler by Heaven and Earth Designs, but I'm a little bit unsure. I, I, don't, I'm, I can't remember, but I got, I couldn't choose. So I had to get all three of the Halloween patterns. I'm sure you understand. I mean, I don't like all Halloween. So when I found, I'm sorry, it's all blaring. So when I found three, I was like, well, Linda, you can only stitch one Halloween this year. You don't have the fabric. You aren't, you have to order the fabric from the States. And most certainly you have to order the threads from the States as well. And you all know, uh, because I think it's a uh, picture of this plus, plus uh, fabric, which is called for. And we all know that uh, there is a long waiting time for that fabric and so um i was like pick one pick one so i picked one and then i went back and i picked two and then i removed the two and i picked another and all of a sudden i had the three that i wanted from the start so i had to get the three so one is called the Spectacular Halloween Garden Labyrinth by Carolyn Manning Designs. And this one is so awesome. Really, seriously, so awesome. Well, I mean, look at those ghosts. If I could just focus a little bit. It's, it's um, really cool, but I think it's, I think it's a big, I think it's a big one. Um, so it's a uh, DMC thread. Oh, that's a lot of white. DMC thread. Uh, so you need quite a lot actually. And Oh, there's French knots in there. Hmm, that's exciting. Let's see. And uh, they call for Ada 14 count. I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. Um, Twilight Mist Hand Dyed Jobelin 28 count. But I'm not going to do that. I will choose something else for this when I'm going to stitch it because it's not the one I'm going to start with. But and um it's a very nice pattern i think it looks very clear so i will just kind of do like this and show so it looks very nice very happy about this And then I finally got my first Rosewood Manor pattern. It's the Halloween quilt sampler. And I saw, oh, now I don't remember who it was on Floss 2 who had finished it. And it looks, it looks so much better stitched up than on this, but oh my God. Oh my freaking god. And then there is a little spider charm as well with the pattern. And on the back side, I mean, there is a lot of collecting here. This is a list of patterns from Rosewood Manor. What? No. It says greeting cards, quilt patterns 
thread savers, charms, uh -huh. looks like it's, I don't know, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know if it's cool stampers or whatever. Um, but when I saw this one on Floss Tube, I was like, it was not so Halloween-ish. It was like, I like the quilting stuff. Uh, but I was like, look at the acorns. You know, that frame. And that cat. And you know, every square has it on has its own name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, there's fifteen. So the cat is called Black Cat. And then you have pumpkin and also very nice and you know easy red uh, pattern, I think. And it's called for, let's see, um, Weeks Dye Works. Add some sparkle using Krennic. Uh, I think there are some DMC floss in here as well. I'm a bit uncertain. So what about the fabric? Okay. That's um, that's uh, interesting. I need to. I think I need to read. I think I need to read the pattern. <laughs> so Weeks Dye Works. Uh, the fabric is uh, Weeks Dye Works thirty count straw, and you're stitching it to over two. Mm. So no, it's weeks that works. I don't see a DMC. Um, anywhere, but uh, I don't think there was uh, too many. Two um, skeins of black. I don't know if you do get the DMCs. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Eight different um, colors of Wix Dye Works. But this is so nice. So, so nice, really, seriously. And when I see a pattern like this, I'm like, why am I stitching anything else? You know, I need to do this. And lastly, the Halloween Quaker by Lila's Studio. And it's so cool. I love, love, love. I need, this is the one I need stitch. I really, really need stitch this. And it's stitched on Mercury. Uh, picture this plus. And, uh, there is a DMC chart and there is a color clockwork, if that's how you call it. Uh, 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 classic color works, yes, and DMC. So I guess uh, you choose. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it says 40 count. I'm not sure I would do that. I need to get some of the 30 count, 40 count to, to try it out. But, mm, oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. Also uh, a very nice pattern. It reminds me of my ink circle, ink circles pattern. So that's that. A lot of nice stuff coming in and it brings me a lot of joy also a last thing I bought which is not very cross stitch related but still a little bit since it's about the floss tube 
I bought a big ass microphone and a webcam for live shows. And it's not that, you know, I'm like, oh, I really, really do a live show. Um, because that's not the thing. The thing is, I'm going back to work in a week. And I know what happened this spring. I hardly did any of my floss tubes. And as I said, I, I really enjoy doing it. And I, I want to continue it. I think it's fun to be a part of the community and show you my stuff and watch your stuff, you know. And I'm like, I, f I feel like I want to be the one, you know, if you have kind of like a heaven and earth question or how does it look or whatever, you know, you can always ask because I've been there a, a long time. And yeah, so I want to continue that, uh, but um, it takes time to shoot the videos. Yeah, it's uh, like, um, I think it's called Coffee Stitcher, like just aim and shoot. Absolutely, it is. Uh, but it's the work you have to put in the videos afterwards. Uh, even if I don't edit it, I just go as it is. Uh, my computer, I guess, is very slow because it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of time. Sorry about that. Uh, to edit and, you know, export, upload, whatever. So I was thinking if I find it very time consuming, um, I don't want that to, to be the thing that stops me. So I got the microphone and the webcam. In worst case scenario, I'm just gonna do like a live show and it saves to YouTube right away. And um, hopefully I can get some good lighting for that as well. And uh, I, it should work, you know, and uh, maybe I could get some interaction at the same time. That would be hilarious. Hilarious. It would be fun. Oh, and I rem I noticed that I said this is my stitching machine in my last floss tube. And that's just, no. It's my sewing machine, of course, not stitching machine. I don't know. I don't know why I, I said, it, said it that. Said that. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, so, um, today I watched a new floss tube or cross stitch related uh, show it's called stitch mania uh, the talk show and I guess they published uh, the first episode like five days ago or something I just found out about it today and I'm very very excited about what this show is going to be about because it's not going to be about whips and um finishes if I understand them correctly it seems like they're going to interview uh, floss tubers they're going to interview um, people who you know dye fabric and thread and not just the Americans all oh, it's going to be worldwide for everyone because they said there are so many now who do these things and we don't know about them so I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be very exciting. I hope they will uh, give us a lot of information that we can use and I'm hoping that we are going to get introduced to uh, a lot of floss tubers because uh, I think most of us know you know the big channels uh, but sometimes it's nice to find the smaller ones as well and you know the chemistry and the humor and stuff so yeah so that that's really nice and then uh oh i always forget her name is she called stitch maniac maniac stitcher oh oh i'm so embarrassed because i love her show she had uh her last floss tube was about sulky threads and how she calculated the threads uh being used to the the long dog sampler pandemic and it was so informative and awesome really um 
it was really really great um yeah i need to bring that up in my next loss to who she is because i think you all know her um uh, but that was really nice information about sulky thread so i'm gonna try that for sure and the thing is she lives in the states so she said well i don't know if you can get the threads elsewhere and i was like no of course you can't of course we're gonna have to order them overseas but i found the place in germany who has the sulky threads yes so that's nice um my absolute favorite floss tube video. I love a lot of them. But the one who I'm really, really, really looking forward to. And they always make me laugh. I feel good about everything. Is Just Keep Stitching. So I've been watching a lot of their floss tube. I'm, I'm quite a new viewer. Um... So I haven't been with them since they started, like, I think it's three years ago. Uh, and um, so I've been kind of <laughs> started from number one because I was very curious of who they are and how they have developed through the years. That's I love to see that because you change, you know, and, you know, when you start, sometimes like their first video was like oh my god they have gotten so far and uh, it's it's a real joy so i've been watching a lot of floss too uh, so i need to shout them out of course but i guess everyone knows them as well and heike in uh, stone cold coffee crafts of course oh my god her cat is just insane and it's so fun to watch and she has this daily crafting shows almost daily crafting shows and she has a little story about the cats in the beginning and it's really entertaining and i just love the obsession she has on fabric and i just love it because you know you get a first hand you know look to the fabrics and she enabled me to get on the waiting list for the Fortnite fabric. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And then we have Rachel Ray. Uh, her floss tube channel. She has a lot of diamond uh, painting channels. Uh, which is the reason why I found her from the beginning. But um, I am a cross stitcher. And that is what I'm enjoying a lot now. And Rachel is just the... Uh, kindest the most wonderful person um so if you don't know about her go check her floss tube um there's a lot more uh but the, those are the ones i've been watching quite a lot now and uh i also enjoy tracy oh now i don't remember tracy's full channel name but she also diamond paints and cross stitches and she's so down to earth and you know the way she um you know makes faces sometimes and all you know uh yeah i really like tracy too um uh, also looking forward to her floss tubes and i know i don't always watch every floss tube even though i love their channels uh it's like goes ups and downs and you know when you have time in and not so i think you all know how it is um so this uh, floss tube has really <laughs> turned out to be a long one i'm i don't want to apologize it's this long i had a lot of haul i like to talk obviously and i love floss tube i love my surprise su subscribers thank you and if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to do that and head over to number uh, 14 and join um, the giveaway for my 500 subscribers. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's all. If you have any questions, you know, leave a comment below and uh, I will see you next weekend for a uh, floss tube 
Number 16, where we announce, uh, where I announce the winner of the giveaway. Ta-da! Yes, we have come to an end. Have a nice weekend. I see you in a week. Bye.